This is Basim. For the Shukair family. On the day of his wedding. They're not grieving one death, but six. She was blossoming. She, I, I call her, she's like a flower. I swear by Allah. Today, Hisham Shukair gave evidence at the inquiry, focusing on the hours immediately after the fire. Do sit down and make yourself comfortable. The Shukairs lived on the 22nd floor. Dad Basem, Mum Nadia, their three children, and grandmother Syria. In the middle of the night as the tower burned, Hisham came to the tower looking for them, but was met with police hostility at the cordon. The police were really loud, um, telling us to get back, like as if we were there to riot. Um, they were shouting with an aggressive uh, toned voice. I had my children with me. My children were scared, it caused them to cry. He was eventually let into the cordon and spoke to this police officer who was wearing a body camera on the night. Despite giving the details of his missing family to the police, he was asked for them again four more times that morning. No one, he said, was taking charge from the council to the government. It was like as if we were taken from trauma to trauma. It was like repeated trauma. Uh, and it was like punishment. And it was, it was like as if your, the inside of your gut was being ripped up and you know, it was that sort of feeling. His family were among the 72 who died in the tower. A realisation that they didn't survive came to him during his searches of rest centres. I just burst into tears because I felt... I felt like... Um, our hopes of finding our family were being reduced more and more. I'm here to remember six lives. Hisham first spoke at the inquiry when it opened in 2018, giving a tribute to those he lost. They were ordinary people, but they were also extraordinary people. They were my family, and they should still be here.